Okay, now let's tackle number 15 on the 12. It's also one of the la latest problems on the 10. I forgot which exact number. Okay, so we have a set of numbers as sum free if whenever x and y are, they don't have to even be distinct. It's just that whenever we have two elements, they can't sum to another element. And for that reason, we also can't have doubles. So if a exists, we can't have 2a exist in our set. What's the greatest number of elements in a sum free subset? Okay, so 1, 2, 20. 18, 19, 20. What is the optimal value here? Okay, so like, try to imagine here, like, what would be optimal? Would it be having, let's say, one, let's say we have one, right? Then we can't have two, right? Clearly. Maybe we can also have three, right? Then we can't have four. We can have four because one plus three is four. We can have five then, but we can't have six, seven, so on. We can have nine. We can have 11. We can have 13, 17, 19. But the key thing here is any even number, like any even number, can be represented as a sum of two of these odd numbers. So this gives us a construction for 10. Wow, interesting. Actually, something interesting here. This, can, this is not the only possible construction for 10. What about, let's say we have 11, 12, all the way till 20. Now the idea, this one in my opinion is a little bit more intuitive. And it's the one I personally came up with. The idea is that Okay, the smaller ones, you can probably add them up. The larger ones, the last half, you cannot add any of these two values to form because if you add any of these two, it'll be greater than 20. But if we, let's say, added a 10, then you would have, let's say, 10 plus 10, remember, does not have to necessarily be distinct, would be 20. That, that's why we can't add the 10 here. So this, this, in my opinion, is also another construction for 10. So is 10 our answer? Well... In the real context, you would be pretty confident it's 10 and just move on, right? We would just be like, okay, we add one more value here. No, it won't work because then 10 plus 10 is 20. Or we add one more value here. Any even value, any even value is a sum. Okay, but let's say we wanted to actually figure out why, like really get to the reason behind it, really prove it. How would we go about doing that? So imagine we have, let's say one, two, all the way till 20, right? Let's say we wanted to prove why or let's say you wanted to see why is 10 really the maximum okay so here's kind of the key idea here and this is probably the there's probably many proofs but this is probably the most efficient one let's say what is the maximum let's say we have 20 in our set right if we have 20 in our set we can't have let's say both of 1 and 19 or we can't have both of 2 and 18 similarly we can't have both of 10 and 10 which means we can't have 10 because 10 times 2 is 20. So for each of these values, for each of these nine sets, we can divide all the remaining elements from one to 19 or all the remaining elements here. We can't have 10. And then all the other values from one to 19 besides 10, we divide them up into these nine kind of pairs of two. We can only have at most one in each of these pairs of two. So that gives us nine plus the 20 equals 10. Okay, now let's say what if the maximum wasn't 20? What if let's say we didn't have a 20, right? What if we instead had a 19? Let's say the maximum was 19, right? We would have, okay, 118, 217, all the way till maybe 910, right? Same logic here. Nine, all the remaining 18 numbers can be divided up. And we see here that only one of each of these pairs, so at only nine of these numbers can exist. So only 10 such numbers can exist, right? So in either case, we've proven that, okay, Regardless of whether it was the maximum was 20 or 19, it's 10. And we see that when we, let's say the maximum was 18, not even 19 or 20. It's the exact same logic as a 20 case, except now, in fact, it's the same thing because the same 20 logic applies to any even number. So we would have, okay, 117, 216, all the way till 99, 8, 10. And we would have that, okay, only eight elements. So in this case, the maximum would be nine. Same thing for 17, just like 19 except one less. So nine, it would be the maximum. So the maximum in any of these cases, other cases where the highest element is not 19 or 20, is going to be even less than 10. So we see that, okay, 10 is indeed going to be the maximum. There's nothing possible higher. And while you probably wouldn't do this logic in the real contest, the key logic here would be to look at maybe like one or maybe two cases and see that no matter what you do, you, can't, you cannot possibly add another element and this seems pretty optimal. Like why would a smaller value do better than a larger one? Or why would an even not one be do better than an odd one? 
So these are kind of like the ways to just figure it out in the contest. And you would probably just have to hope that 10 was the right one based on what you've seen. And here's like how you would actually look through it in a more careful light. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.